ounce in her fat reserves. The little cubs by then will weigh 12 to 15 pounds. They will be fully furred. Their eyes are open. They have claws an inch long. The soles of their little puppy feet are just as soft as silk. So in April, the mother has to dig out of the den and bring those cubs all the way down here to the coast because this is where it's beginning to warm up. The buds and blossoms are beginning to swell on the berry bushes. The grass is springing up through the intertidal zone. The sedge is starting to grow, leaves appearing on the plants. So she has to lead those little cubs from the den across snow fields, avalanche paths, rock slides, waterfalls, cliffs, down through the dense tangled vegetation. Now remember these little cubs have legs about six inches long. Their mother has a two and a half foot stride. So it's very difficult for them to keep up with her. But if they fall too far behind, if they get abandoned, they will die very, very soon. So the little cubs make it down here to the beach. They will spend two years with their mother learning how to be bears, where to find food, how to avoid danger, how to survive in this very harsh environment. If they lose their mother any time in those first two years, they're going to die. So we bring those little cubs here, and typically when they arrive, they are dehydrated, malnourished, terrified, traumatized, angry. They are running on instinct and adrenaline for survival. We put them in a cool, quiet, dark room, much as the conditions that they were born into in the den. We take them back two to three months into the den and we work with them very soothingly. We'll work with them for 15 minutes at 6 in the morning, for 20 minutes at 9, come back at noon, come back at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock, around the clock, working with these little cubs half an hour, 45 minutes at a time, many, many times a day. At the end of the first day, I'll take the vest off that I've been wearing all day that's saturated with my odor. <laughs> I roll it up and put it in their box. Yeah. The little no bear sleeps on that comfortable jacket. And by morning, I'm no longer a stranger because she's absorbed the odor of, of me. By the second day, we can usually hand feed the little cubs. By the fourth day, we can touch them. <laughs> by the tenth day, they'll come when they're called. They'll curl up in your lap and sleep. They'll follow you around here like a little puppy, and they get very angry if you leave them alone. So then we start moving with them outside. Once they know to come to a name when they're called, we'll move over into this habitat. We'll take these little bears and lock them in their training room. And we come through the habitat, and we will carry in our pockets apples, grapes, carrots, pieces of food, and much like their mother does in the forest, as she's traveling along feeding on a variety of vegetation, the little 